Greetings, this is Fred Foy Strang. You're listening to the Moment for Mission podcast. Do you ever feel like you are alone in pursuing your mission? Maybe even overwhelmed because of the sheer size of the task or number of to-dos required of you. Have you ever wondered if you're even on the right track and wish for a trusted sounding board to vet your questioning? Today on Moment for Mission, I want to talk about a concept I call team-based mission. As we get started, let's have a Fred Foy fact. I've always enjoyed sports. I played tennis for many years and really enjoyed my high school team. I ran cross country for my university and I even attempted the steeplechase during track season, which by the way was a complete disaster. I love water sports, especially snorkeling and scuba diving. I took part in as many intramural and church league sports as I could. I find it's not only fun in athletics to achieve success, but even more rewarding to be part of a team. Being part of a team is pretty neat. Maybe you've had that experience, whether within or outside the sporting context. There's just something special about sharing the journey to both successes and failures with others. When we consider our or our organization's mission, is our first thought, I, or is it we? I'd like to challenge myself and you to think about some of the advantages of we. I did a study some years ago of a project working with teenagers. I wanted to determine the effectiveness of a team-based approach to mission rather than an individually focused effort. I had a vision for reaching out to youth in an area where we served and crafted that into a definable mission statement and achievable objectives to get there. I found a number of people who also had hearts for youth but didn't have any particular mission of their own nor were they working with any other organization. I met up with these potential leaders, and I laid out my mission, inviting them not only to help me, but to be a full partner in the effort with equal say-so. We all engaged in trainings, learning contextually appropriate methodologies and practical skills in activity creation, discussion leadership, spiritual formation. We revisited the mission that I had written up and tweaked it to fit our new knowledge and our team's unique skill sets and passion. I could describe this in much more detail, but I think you get the picture, and there's some additional resources in the show notes for your reference. What I discovered was a statistically significant measurable increase in areas of satisfaction, spiritual development, and learning among the youth and among the adult team members. When the team was empowered by the overall mission, they devoted much more energy and effort toward impacting the kids. Adult team members connected with youth not only at church meetings, but invited them to their homes, met them for lunch, attended their sports games, their music and art presentations. The significance of the impact on the lives of the youth was notable. The students reported a close connection to team members with whom they had trusted their life and their journeys. They valued the team members' mentoring. They appreciated their point of views and reported they felt not only cared for, but loved and accepted for who they were. Because of this close connection to the team members, the youth were able to report a significant increase in their learning and in their perceived growth in personal spiritual formation. And the adult team felt great about the obvious impact they were having as the mission began to really become a reality. So let me offer this definition of team-based mission. 
Team-based missions is the methodology and program involving especially selected and trained advisors who, along with the team leader, implement a missionally driven program with the goals of cultivating an understanding of, a commitment to, and an achievement of the overall mission and vision of the endeavor. That's a long definition. Here, let me give you a short version. In short, every participant is all in, is valued in all ways, and in every way is empowered and freed to use their gifts, skills, and abilities. Microsoft founder Bill Gates put it this way, great organizations demand a high level of commitment by the people involved. Eliminate politics by giving everybody the same message. Keep a flat organization in which all issues are discussed openly. Empower teams to do their own things. To further clarify this, let's go back to my athletic interests. Both my sons, Jesse and Jacob, were big swimmers, even at the university level. Cecil and I loved to watch them compete throughout their careers. One event in which both boys competed was the 200-meter medley relay. A team of four swimmers is required for this race, with each person having a unique ability to swim particularly fast in their specialty event. The order of the medley relay is backstroke, followed by breaststroke, then butterfly, and finally the freestyle. It's a true team effort with each swimmer working in concert with the other for quick and clean starts and exchanges, swimmers jumping in at the right time, and a speedy leg to help achieve the overall team mission, which is to win the race. I think team-based missions is kind of like a medley relay. In team-based missions, each person is entirely committed to the mission, Each person has a unique skill set to help achieve the mission. Each person is valued by every other team member for their mission contribution. Each person is free to use their unique abilities to further the mission. And each person equally shares in the success of the missional venture. The biblical book of Ecclesiastes contains these words. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe to the one who is alone and falls, and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. As you take a moment for mission today, try to think more about the we than the I. How can you gather and empower a team to join you in your mission? First, find people with that same passion that you have. Then discover together the unique gifts and skills that each brings to sharpen the focus of the vision. Move it forward to completion that will surely be much, much more than you could do all alone. This is Dr. Fred Foy-Strang. Thanks for joining me today, and have a great day.